two clips there. There's a screw right there, one on the other side. Had a problem with this dryer a while back where it was leaving kind of like brown uh, burn marks on clothing. And I had to replace the shim here. Uh, it's like a fabric shim. And the clothes would come up and get pinched in there because that shim wore out. Front should just pop off here. Get down by the clips. Here's the piece that I had to replace the shim. Just unclip the safety switch. And it should pull right up and off. There's the front. There's the belt. I think I'm going to replace that one. So I took the vent off and I think this is the uh, root of my issue right there. I think it's that idle alert pulley right there that's squeaking. Um, let's see. It's either that or the bearing because there's really nothing else on these simple machines. Yeah, that. That's kind of gritty. It does roll pretty well. Though. Now that I have the belt loose, should be able to lift this up, pop it off the bearing. And there's a retaining clip in the way. One screw. Okay, now I'm going to pop the drum out. And you'll see the bearing on the back right there. I'm going to replace that as well because I have one. I'm also going to clean this up with a shop vac. This is where the heating element is. Got it pretty much swept out. The pulley fell out while I was moving it around. Here's the old pulley. Here's the new. So, looks like we'll have to reuse the spring here. Put that guy on like that. And put this guy on like this. All right simple enough. There's the bearing. Here's the new bearing. And that's going to ride in that, uh, I don't know, the hub if you will, which goes inside the, the dryer. Looks like the bearings hold on with a couple screws. Spin this guy around. Yep, three Phillips. Next step is to replace that bracket. There's a little ball bearing in there. Held in by a clip. 